I'm with Greg Curtis with the Gerdes Greenhouse, and well, today we're talking about butterflies, and you know, a lot of people you know want to see some butterflies flying around their their garden, and there are certain plants that will attract those butterflies, especially some of these brighter plants here. Yeah, Jeff, let me if we could zoom in for just a second. I just want to show. It's about all about how long the flower is, or the throat of the flower. So you want it about, you can see here on this one, what's that, maybe quarter inch to half inch? That's where the nectar is going to be down in the bottom. So a lot of times people get these big old red flowers thinking it's going to work. So fine flowers like we have here, these are salvias. You're going to show a lantana in here in a second. Go ahead. If they got those, the throats are not that long. And that plant right there, just so you know, full sun is what we're talking about here this, this morning. That plant right there is probably going to double or triple in size. So know that when you're planting it, it's going to be about the size of a basketball. Going to bloom all summer long. Butterflies, hummingbirds, they're going to love it. What else, I don't remember. What else you got over there? I uh, see. I got uh, All right. Same yeah, with that right guy here. right there, the Angelonia. That one's going to get probably maybe twice that size. It's going to mature out about another six inches tall. Bloom all the way to frost. So what we're standing in front of here is, is annuals. All this is going to die. It frosts, but it's going to bloom all summer long. Let's talk about before we transition the one thing that you and I've talked about for years. Here we go. Well, yeah, if you want that color, you got to want those blooms. You got to have the the BR61 with that that high middle number there. Very good. That's what gives you the blooms. You that's don't necessarily want explosive growth. You correct. want the you want the blooms out of these. So that, that, that that's why the middle number is. One hundred percent correct. Yeah. Water soluble, so you got to mix it with the water when you do it. I'm going to show a couple of the plants. And also, as you've mentioned before, make sure that the plant is already well watered before you add the BR61 because you, you don't want to do it if it's too dry. Again, you're remembering. Good. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Over the years, over the years. Once a while, something sticks. <laughs> Milkweed. That's a big popular kind of a buzzword amongst the butterfly people. So this is a tropical milkweed. This is going to be a perennial milkweed. And you can see the difference in the two. This has been in this pot for, gosh, probably 45 days. Not going to grow quite as fast. This one's grow fast. Going to get the bloom later on, plus the monarch caterpillars. So if you're going to start a butterfly garden, come see us. But we have, we have a great selection to start. Get the flowers, get the caterpillars. Just enjoy. You make some nice pots out of these. Make too. some nice pots. Yeah, that's a story for another day. Though that's about all the time we have for this week. Join us back here next weekend or next week in the Good Earth Greenhouse. <laughs>